Hey guys, welcome back to my DMX's training videos. I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video, I want to wrap up our DMX's training talking about MIDI control. Now MIDI control in DMX's is, again, a really powerful thing that can save you a ton of time and give you a lot of options with your playback as well as speed up your programming. So it's a really good way to speed everything up and, and to be able to extend the functionality of DMX's off of the screen and onto your fingers, which, you know, if you're um, used to hardware lighting controllers, this is a pretty big deal to you like it is to me. So I've got sitting in front of me, you can't see it, but I've got a Korg Nano Control 2, and this is the... Uh, the one with the faders. Um, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight faders, then eight knobs on the top, and three buttons on each fader, press buttons. So that's a total of 24 plus a number of uh, buttons on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven buttons on the side. So that gives us a total of a ton of different things that we can program into DMX's and setting it up is super simple. Most MIDI controllers these days have USB and uh, you're gonna want that for connecting to your computer. So you connect that guy in and now we go into DMX's, click File, Preferences, and you can see here Active MIDI Inputs. Now it's already found my nano control. It, it knows about it, the computer told it about it. So now I just select that box, click the X, and we're set up and ready to go. How easy was that? You don't even have to understand MIDI or anything complicated like that. You just have to check the box um, with your device and you're good to go. Now, how do we use MIDI in DMX's? Say you want to control something. I'm going to go over here to my two moving fixtures. So say you want to control the dimmer off of a fader. <clears throat> Excuse me. What we're going to do, we're going to right click that fader. You can only do this one fader at a time. We're going to click learn. You're going to like this a lot. And then this window pops up. It says press a MIDI key or move a controller or click here to cancel. So I'm going to move my first fader on the Korg. Hello. Of course, sometimes you have technical difficulties, but that's okay. Where uh, I think Windows forgot about my Korg. Can hit learn. And now move the fader. So I had to reselect it and deselect it. I think that was due to the fact that I had um, plugged it in and unplugged it just before the video. So sorry about that. But um, now we've got that fader programmed in. Say I want to add another one. Learn. Boom. Now these two movers have their intensity on this fader great for programming because as you can see I don't even have to have them selected and I can move the fader. Now one of the things I really like is with these encoder knobs at the top I can set them to my pan and tilt. So now let me set a second encoder to tilt. So now you can see I've just got one fader and two encoders set. And I can already set a program a lot in my scenes with this. So you can see how this is powerful. I'm gonna bring up my dimmer, didn't have to select anything, didn't have to click anywhere. Then tilt the light, always tilt your moving lights first, then pan. Then I can pan it. Boom. So I go to my preset manager, new preset, I'll uh, we'll call it nothing because I had to unplug my keyboard. And uh, then I can go to um, record another preset. Sorry about unplugging the keyboard there. That was just honestly my laziness and uh, not wanting to move my plug my keyboard in on the back of my computer and plug everything into my monitor. So then we want to create another preset. Say we bring our da dimmer down to 50, tilt it up there, no pan, boom. Go to our preset manager, record another preset, boom. Next preset, dimmer's at full again. We're going to move it over there and pan it a different way. Easy going. So that's what I really love about MIDI control 
in DMXs. You can control all kinds of stuff in there. Like I just controlled the pan, tilt, and dimmer. But say I go my four bars and I grab my red. Boom. Then I grab my green. Next fader. Boom. I grab my blue. Next fader. And I could do that with all my red, greens, and blues. And then all of a sudden, you know, I've got a console where I could control all this stuff. And um, not only with this MIDI control can you be, you know, programming and overriding it inside your presets. But you could also say you've got a DMX show and you might run it time code or you might run it with the foot controller along with your show, with your band's show. But occasionally, occasionally. You want to be able to reach over to that control surface. Let's say we put the dimmer on the last fader here. You just want to be able to reach over and, you know, if the crowd's going really wild, you just want to do the dimmer to the beat based on the crowd. And you can do that. You can have that in here and be able to run some things on the fly with DMXs. So that's what's really cool about this MIDI functionality. Again, you know, if you're into music, you probably know that MIDI controllers can be so cheap. I mean, this Korg Nano Control 2, you know, is a cheap little interface. It's like 60 bucks. And to be able to give you that functionality where you can reach out and touch things in the console is such a big deal. So that's awesome. I just wanted to share that with you guys and um, really help you to take your lighting to the next level. If you like what you saw in these training videos, I invite you to click the link below or on the side or on top of this video and check out LearnStageLighting.com. It's where we teach, I teach about lighting, teach you everything you need to know and how to really grow your lighting to the next level and create amazing shows. That's what we're all in it for and that's what I want to help you to. So definitely if you haven't checked out the other DMX's videos and you're interested in DMX's, check that out here on YouTube. Subscribe, like, whatever you want to do. I'm happy to see you here. Happy to meet you. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.